What's up guys, Everyday Drunk Guy again with another video. So you saw the thumbnail, this is not clickbait, I did crash my drum, <clears throat> okay? So it was completely my fault, I went down to Atlanta to get a couple uh, sunset photos and um, where I took off from I was a little bit under the tree, I thought I cleared the tree but I, I didn't and obviously in the drone um, hits some of the branches and come tumbling down to its death. Um, it pretty much fell from about 12 feet and um, so this is a drone right here so and I know what you're saying it's, it doesn't look like it's crashed right however if you look right here this arm is completely broken uh, and the body of the drone is broken as well all right the good thing is is that it is completely fixable and I am going to fix it now everything actually still works on the drone all the motors still work the cameras still work um, thank God the camera still work. There's nothing that didn't get damaged at all. Um, the only thing that was damaged is the body of the drone and that one arm. So I've already ordered the parts. Um, I should get all the parts within about three weeks. Uh, most of them is coming from right here in the U.S. Uh, one of the parts is coming from uh, come from China. So that's gonna take a while. But as soon as I get that, I'll make a video of putting this drone back together. I didn't see too many videos online showing how to, you know, break the drawing down and put it back together and stuff like that. So I guess this is something that we can do together and it's going to be a learning curve. All right. You can probably learn something and I definitely will learn something. All right. So the parts wasn't that expensive. It was like 80 bucks for all the stuff that I needed, uh, which is, you know, pretty decent. Uh, and... Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty it. I'm pretty bummed about this, but at the end of the day, I am glad that I still have the drone. It could have been worse. It could have been a situation where I completely lost the drone, or it could have been just completely destroyed. So, and that's not the case. So that's, that's a good thing. The moral of the story is, the takeaway from the story is, just be careful guys. Make sure, you know, make sure you, where you're taking off, you your clay to take off and stuff like that. Nothing is above you. And so this was completely my fault. It was completely user error. And hopefully I will never make this mistake again. This was my first crash. And hopefully it's my last. <clears throat> All right, so stay tuned. If you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So when I do post this video of me uh, putting this drum back together, you'll be able to see that. All right, you'll see that process of doing that. <clears throat> and it's not something I've done before, so we, I, we, we're all learning at the same time. It's not that difficult from what I'm seeing, and from what I've seen, and I'm a pretty hands-on person, so that's why I'm comfortable doing this. And um, yeah, so we're gonna do that together. So subscribe to my YouTube, um, my Instagram as well is the same as YouTube, so it's an everyday drone guy on my Instagram. I have a lot of photos on there. I'm trying to dabble more in photos and cinematic videos. So if that's something that you're interested in, you know, go ahead and subscribe. All right, and that's it for this video, guys. It wasn't an exciting video, it was, pretty, it was a pretty sad video, but in short, and I just wanted to let you guys know what's, what's happening in my world, in my job. But we'll, we'll get back together and, and, and be back up in the sky in no time. So fly safe, guys, and uh, Everyday Drone Guy is out.